Welcome back to freepilotgroundschool.ca. This is the fourth lesson on flight instruments. We're going to talk about the vertical speed indicator. The vertical speed indicator measures uh, the change in the vertical feet per minute, so the change in altitude per time. Like the altimeter, it is connected to the static port only. The static port fills the bellows and there is a small orifice in the bellows. When there is a change in altitude, the pressure change changes the size of the bellows. As the climb levels off, the pressure reaches an equilibrium with the surroundings and the indicator reads zero. There aren't really any errors associated with the vertical speed indicator. It measures vertical feet per minute. However, there is a lag. The indication lags by approximately seven to 14 seconds. When you change altitude, the vertical speed indicator will indicate a climb or descent right away, but it will take between seven and 14 seconds in order to properly read the actual vertical speed. Let's review. The vertical speed indicator has a calibrated orifice in a system that indicates the change in air pressure. An accurate reading will take approximately seven to 14 seconds. A blocked static port will result in a reading of zero. Okay, sample test question. If the calibrated orifice becomes blocked, what will the vertical speed indicator indicate? So remember, this isn't what happens if the static port becomes blocked, that would be zero. But what happens if the calibrated orifice inside becomes zero? And to answer this question, you have to take a look at and understand how the vertical speed indicator works. So as there is a change in pressure, let's just say a decreasing amount of pressure, the needle will show a climb because the bellows are increasing. So essentially what will happen is this instrument will work like an altimeter, which has no orifice. So it will climb, indicate a climb or an increase in a climb, and it will indicate a decrease in a descent. Therefore, the correct answer, B and C are correct. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you next time on uh, the next lesson on flight instruments.